Analysts, politicians and civil society activists in Sri Lanka have time and time again raised concerns on Chinese projects initiated in the island, saying that the country is falling prey to a Chinese debt trap. However, speaking at the Chinese Foreign Ministry media briefing, a spokesperson of the ministry played down the allegations. China's Belt and Road Initiative has been the subject of concern as a number of countries which received investment under the program have begun to grumble about falling prey to a Chinese debt trap. Chinese projects in Sri Lanka have drawn similar concerns. Last year, the strategic Kambantota port was given to the Chinese on a 99-year lease over the country's inability to repay the loans obtained for the 1.4 billion US dollar project. Speaking in defense of the multi-billion dollar trade and infrastructure project, a spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry said there is no such thing as debt trap for the Hambantota Harbour. She quoted statistics from Sri Lanka's central bank to show that Chinese loans only amounted to around 10% of the country's foreign debt in 2017. She went on to say that therefore, Sri Lanka's main debt burden is not caused by Chinese loans. However, is this statement objectively true? Are the concerns raised by a number of international countries as well as local experts merely a farce? Now this figure I think is camouflaged or might be even manipulated and does not have any merit. For instance, there is much more than that. Uh, their, their presence in Sri Lanka is much more than that. And the debt component is certainly more than that. For instance, one good example is to take the Hambantota port. Uh, for instance, one good example is to take the Hambantota port. Uh, recently, there was a conversion from debt to equity, right? A 1.5 billion conversion. And if Sri Lanka's total debt was uh, in the range of 50 billion, if uh, the 10% they're talking about is 4 billion, at the 1.5%, 1.5 billion, you're looking at about close to about 6 billion. So that's about a 15%. So there are much more than this uh, which is there. So this 10% which has been mentioned by China is, I think, inaccurate. 